Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, a very frustrated Nintendo Beast, back here in Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, my emulator is busted. I just updated it like an idiot, and uh, my controller doesn't work anymore. So I'm back to using a mouse and keyboard to play Animal Crossing New Leaf, which is a whole lot of no fun. So uh, I don't know if I have to remap the control profile on the emulator or what the deal is but I'm, I just spent about half an hour to an hour trying to figure it out unplugging things plugging things back in working with steam nothing seemed to work so anyway Isabel says hello there mayor John now I gotta try to remember what the button layout is on a freaking PC keyboard and that's not gonna be fun at all uh, so this is gonna be my least fun episode ever until next week when I still can't resolve it <laughs> In Dumbleburg, it's Wednesday, September 29th, 2021, and the current time is 1.42 p.m. Okay. <laughs> well then, shall we get started? Yes, let's. Wonderful, let me get you set up. Alright, so I'm preparing my town, so... <sighs> Just like old times, having to use this stupid, terrible PC keyboard that I have here. Uh, say, it's been forever since you were here last. It was like a two weeks or something. Uh, well, I hope you don't mind, but I've been doing my best to fill your shoes, blah, 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 blah. Right. And now here comes... Rossetti to yell at me. Alright, so we think... Uh... Yeah, got that far. Okay. How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Let me see if I can... Uh... My batteries died. Okay, so A is like the A button, I think. Or maybe the B button. I think it's the A button. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Anyway. <laughs> Just trying to figure this out. Yo, so a lot of the villagers... Ooh, Red's Gallery. Oh, yeah, this is the artwork, right? Dear Cousin John... Crazy Red would like to thank you again for wise purchase or for your wise purchase of the nice painting. I'm sure you'll feel content with your choice from Red's Gallery. I think I actually um I literally just got the the nice painting in City Folk as well. And uh this chicken guy over here, Benedict, also in one of my other towns. So many weeds again. Okay, wait. So that's that. Alright, so let's uh, try to get the hang of this here. This actually really sucks. Once you have, like, a taste of the good life. So like picking weeds. Uh, and once you have the taste of the good life, using a controller going back to a freaking mouse and keyboard is just the freaking worst, dude. It's just the worst. Okay, so I have a lost item. Should look for an owner. Yeah, sure. Who's at the campsite, though? So let's roll into the campsite, see who's in here. Who is this? Who are you? Opal. Hey, are you from around here? Oh, great. I've been looking for a local. Opal's been looking for a, a local yokel. <laughs> looking for a local to chat with. Uh, I'm just camping here in Dumbleburg for a little while, but the town is really growing on me. Who knows? Maybe someday you and I will be neighbors. <laughs> maybe, Opal. Maybe. So, uh, yeah. I need to get a better keyboard. I'm going to get, like, a Razer keyboard or something. I just have the, uh, the crappy keyboard that my gaming PC came with, which is real bad. It's real, like, it's so bad. I know people are like, oh, yeah, my keyboard sucks. My mouse sucks. I'm talking, like, the, the space bar gets stuck. Like, 
three out of every ten times you, pr you try to sp like press space. Which is not even, like, an issue for gaming. It's an issue for just basic computing. I could not type up a paragraph without literally just smashing my head against the keyboard and just wanting to give up on life. That's how bad this keyboard actually is. It's like uh, an iBuyPower branded keyboard. And it's like, woohoo, it has, you know, LEDs in it. And it's terrible. It's the worst. Happy birthday to Beardo. Oh, I guess I can use the mouse for that. Tomorrow's forecast. That was a couple. That was a while ago. What does that say? The last bug off of the season. Uh, next event will be held on June. Yeah. Okay. So June eighteenth, twenty twenty-two. So they're already planning for bug offs uh, in twenty twenty-two. Let me go find. Leaf should be around here somewhere, right? I feel like there are enough weeds that Leaf should be around, trying to pester me about picking them. No? That's, uh... It's interesting. There just aren't quite enough... For him to care. I should probably start asking people if, uh... This thing belongs to them, though. So I don't forget about it. Hey. Oh, this is Egbert. It's not even Benedict. So I'm pretty much a local now. I guess so... Did Egbert just move into town or something? I don't know. I thought this was Benedict. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty much a local now. I keep hearing about you, so I'm glad I finally got a chance to meet you. Or to say hi. Nice to meet you. Doodle da. Okay, yeah, but I need to talk to you. Is this yours? <laughs> hi again, John. What's up now? Doodle da. Drop something. He's gonna make me show it to him first. And then he's gonna be like, nah, this isn't mine. He couldn't just be like, no, I wasn't carrying anything. Whoa! Well, it's not mine. Yeah, exactly. You should ask around, doodle duh. Well, doodle duh to you too. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. That's pretty much what I'm doing, bud. Thanks, though. <laughs> doodle duh to you too. So, unicorn person. I see you walking around. Hey, talk to me. Julian. Oh, welcome back, John. I've been hoping I'd see you again, and now I have. Glitter. You know how bored I've been since you've been gone? So bored. Like, 12 whole months of being bored. No. No, you're not talking about the same amount of time I was gone. You're talking about the same amount of time as I- Maybe I talked to you. Maybe I talked to you last a year ago. But I have not been gone for 12 months. I'm sure you've been... I'm sure you're pretty busy, but please do stop by to say hi now and then, John. Yeah, hi. Uh, did you drop something? Uh, drop something? Could you just say yes or no and just skip the process of me showing it to you? Hmm. I don't believe I've ever seen this before, despite its adorable factor. Glitter. My guess is that this item probably belongs to someone else, then. Don't you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's probably pretty logical. Thanks, bud. Thanks for the help. Well, it's not the campers, is it? Can it be the campers item? Do campers drop things? Ugh, gotta pick more weeds. Da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba -da. Pick the weed. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> I hate using a keyboard to control this game. So I will stop in at the roost. I was... I'll be honest with you. I was really, really hopeful that, uh... I had a feeling the roost was gonna make its way to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Just a matter of time. 
But I will say I was very hopeful that it was going to end up being an external building like it is here in New Leaf. I like that better. Because right now there are like, people who are like, oh yeah, well then, you know, people have built their islands up and they don't have room anymore for any more buildings. And that's fine. I feel like it should be an optional thing. They should start rolling out optional buildings, right? I want optional buildings like the roost. You don't have to have it in your town, but it adds to the game if you do want to have it in your town, and then it's up to you to make space for it. Because right now I have the museum, I have Nook's Cranny, but beyond that, I don't really... Oh, and then, yeah, the museum, Nook's Cranny, and... What's the other one? Abel Sisters, right? Duh. Um, and that's it. And I wanted to have, like, a business district for my town. And right now you can, but that's it. Like, that's all you can do. How do I... Oh, there we go. Those are the only buildings you can have, like, businesses that you can have. There's no Shampoodle. There's no whatever. All you can really have are those three businesses. So it's not much of a business district. But. Alright. So there's that. And there's a pitfall seed that I regret pick digging up. Immediately regret. That weed. At least there won't be any weeds. Anymore. I said that last time too when I picked all the weeds and then... I went on vacation for a week and a half and I came back and there are more weeds! But now, now I don't have any vacations planned. Now it's just... Back to work. Back to the old Animal Crossing grind. Just... Doing chores. All the live long day. <laughs> Alright, what do you think? Are there gonna be uh are there gonna be cockroaches in my house, but I can't carry anything else? Should I swap it with something? Yes. <laughs> swap it with this pitfall seed. And then just to be No, you know what? I was gonna say just to be annoying. Or just to get rid of it. I don't care about that balloon. I mean, I do care about the balloon, but I don't care about it enough to actually shoot it down. Not right now, at least. Um, You. Okay, so there are two people here. Hey, did you drop something, bud? Rooney? Mm -hmm. You new here? What was that? But it's been so long since I moved to, here to Dumbleburg, I can barely remember good old Roos Rose Wolf. Rose Wolf? Is that me? Oh, no, that's where you moved from. Okay. That's where I was living before moving here. I'm shocked to find out there are still townsfolk I haven't met yet. I haven't even met half my townsfolk in this game. Uh, the name is Rooney. Don't be a stranger now, you hear? Punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here for a reason, though. Yo, John, what are you doing, Punches? Drop something. Again, just say yes or no, dude. That's all you have to do. But no, this isn't mine. I think you should ask somebody else. Yeah, no, I, that was the plan. But thanks. Blue bear guy. Poncho, hey. Hey, John, where have you been? Don't tell me. You were training alone on a mountaintop, right? Oh, man, you should have invited me. I would have gone with you in a heartbeat, little bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but we have something to talk about. Yo, John. Am I having deja vu, little bear? Didn't we just talk? You lose this. Please. Please have lost this. <laughs> Please. Yeah, that's not mine. I hate you. I hate you. First of all, let's put this money there. And now, let's come right here. And, uh... Dig this little bit of nonsense up. 
I don't remember if my fossil exhibit is full in this game or not. So, here we are. Um, so I thought I was looking for somebody. So first of all, I, I wanted to say this uh, before, but I got fr too frustrated in trying to control it with a keyboard. Um, I did want to note that uh, I've played all the Animal Crossing games now, except for this one and New Horizons in a row. That's how I record these gameplays. Every week I play every game in a row. So I start with GameCube, then I move to uh, Wild World, then I go to City Folk, then I come to New Leaf, and then I end up with New Horizons. And I've played them all today in short order, and I have to say, this is the first game in the series that as of today, September, what is it, 29th that I'm recording? Yeah, September 29th. The grass is actually slightly, like, fallish. Like, it actually looks like fall. I'm gonna go ask this freaking camper if they dropped something. And if it was them, I'm gonna be so pissed off. It better not be them. Because I've been running around like an idiot this entire time. Did you lose something when you were setting up your tent? Okay, so I literally can't talk to you. Okay. So it literally cannot. Because of the programming of the game, it physically cannot be their crap. So I'm gonna run up. How about you? Are you home? I'm just gonna... I gotta start knocking on doors, apparently, to try to find the, the rightful owner of this garbage. Um, this is frustrating. You. This is a cool house, though. Mad props to your cool house. Eek! It's the ghost of John. Run away, run away. Shut up and tell me if this is yours. <laughs> hmm? Is that you, John? I mean, for real? I thought you were gone forever. But you're back to stay forever, right? Now leave it. Then never leave us again. I can't handle it, John. Yeah. Cool house. Uh, did you drop something? Please be yours. Please. Sorry, that's not mine, but it must belong to someone. Swine? Did he just call me swine? Am I looking for a pig or something? Is that Was that a clue? Or does Dottie the rabbit use the catchphrase swine? Maybe, maybe Dottie learned it from somebody else. Alright. Making the next house call. This should not be my responsibility to freaking do this. You. Hey. Hey. Come here. No, don't don't you dare run away from me. Delivery. Delivery. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Jingle, Franklin, yada, yada, yada. I don't care. Is this your crap? Did you lose this? Please say yes. Please make my day and say yes. Hey, this is my makeup bag. Yes! Yes! It was Gwen's makeup bag. Thank the good lord. Don't give me anything. No, no, an uncommon shirt. I wanted empty pocket space. The best gift you could have given me was not a gift at all. You, no, 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 no. Just saying hi. Just kidding around, huh? Alright, bye. Bye. Bye, get me out of this death trap of a house. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's resolved. Now I have to go freaking... What else do I have in my pockets? Is there anything else I can just, like, toss? Not really. Alright, so we're gonna go up. No, we're gonna go down. Gonna go up, down, all over town. Okay. So we're gonna go into retail, and we're gonna sell the crap that we have. Uh, so the, the appraised fossils certainly are not going to the museum, because obviously, you know, they wouldn't be appraised and in my pocket still if they were worthwhile. Like, if they weren't 
they would be donated is what I'm trying to say they would have been donated already take that butterfly wall anatomical model what is this heart bopper I'm gonna keep that um what is this violet screen great statue violet screen jungle floor I'll sell the jungle floor as well that's good just sell everything basically right Crunching the numbers right away? Well then, I could probably part with 10,295 bells. That is a deal, Reese. Thank you. <clears throat> Pushed you over the bell limit. That's fine. No complaints there. Thank you, come again. Alright, so let's run over to the museum now and get these fossils appraised. Like I said before, I'm not 100% sure whether or not... Oh, well, actually, let me dig this up first. Oops. Pressing the wrong freaking key on my freaking keyboard. I was also saying something before I talked about the grass too. And I, I'm I'm gone. Mental train of thought is just gone. Um I'm sure I had something to do with uh you know, businesses and stuff coming to New Horizons or something like that. Probably something to do with Brewster. Which again I will stop in and say hi to Brewster. Um but only after I remember. Oh, there's a train going by. That's what. Okay. So I'm going to run by here and uh, go up to the museum. Uh, museum is this way. <laughs> Had to think about that. Somebody leave me a comment in the comment section below. See, look at this symmetrical museum. Symmetrical. I like symmetry. Makes my heart happy. And yet... New Horizons is throwing that new... Uh, the, the roost up in the left top corner. And it just it makes the museum not symmetrical anymore. And that bugs the crap out of me. Should have been a separate building. That's all I'm saying. Uh, welcome to the Dumbleberg Museum. Hmm? Who? How may I be of service? Uh, assess a fossil. <laughs> what would you like to, me to assess? Oh yeah, I can multi-select in this one too. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Check them genres out, alright? Ooh hoo! More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Well, well. All of these are simply quite splendid. In fact, our museum already has these fossils on display. Yeah, okay, so all of them are already in the museum. Which leads me to believe that I already uh, have completed my fossil wing, but I'm not 100% sure. So real quick, I'm going to jump in here because there were a lot of fossils in my pocket already. No, it's not complete. <laughs> so we have to remember that we do not have a completed fossil wing just yet. It looks like... Um, Sorry, my nose is, like, itchy, as always. Uh, it looks like a Triceratail, maybe? Is that what this is? A Triceratops? I thought that thing in the back was, but... Yeah, Triceratops. So we're missing the Triceratail. That might be the only fossil that we're missing. That'd be pretty cool if we were one fossil away from <laughs> completion. Okay, no, so we need the, the, the butt of this as well. What is this? An icta, ictosaur? Ictosaur? So we need two fossils from what I see so far. That's complete. The mammoth is complete. This thing is complete. The saber tooth tiger looks to be complete. Yeah, so we have. The Triceratail and the, uh, I'll call it an Ictosaur. An Ictosaur tail. <laughs> and then, what about in here? Okay, and then we need the body of this thing. The Ankylosaurus. So we need the body of that. So it looks like right now we are three fossils away, but before I confirm, let me confirm that before I say that out loud. Uh... <laughs> 
Yeah, we are three fossils away from completing our fossil wing here in Domoburg in uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. So that's actually pretty exciting. That's something that's like tangible and that we can actually probably reach pretty quickly. Well, I don't know how quickly, but... Because again, there are three obscure fossils we need to find. Or three specific fossils we need to find, I should say. And all the fossils, I just threw four, at, four of them at him and none of them were what we were looking for. Let me open my pocket real quickly here. So what do we did we get? Stego torso, Ankleo skull. We need the body of that one. Shark tooth and plesio torso. Okay, so yeah, it was it was a bunch of unnecessary garbage. Let me go sell these bad boys. And uh, I mean, that's definitely all the fossils we're gonna find today, right? That was all four of those were from today. <laughs> There was this other one over here, this other hidden thing, or buried thing, but it was just a, uh, scratch my, scratch my lip, and this is just a pitfall, right? Yeah. It's just button mash. I was gonna say, I don't even know, if it's, if that's not how you get out, I don't know how to get out. <laughs> Let me run down here and just talk to Brewster. In the spirit of uh, saying what up to Brewster in every game and celebrating his arrival, his soon arrival, his hopeful soon arrival in uh, in New Horizons here. Let me go into, into the roost and uh, grab a cup of coffee, chit-chat a little bit with Brewster. Brewster, how are you, my sir? Cool, I was hoping you'd come by. Would you like a coffee today? It's 200 bells a cup. Yes, cool. Cool. Uh, what would you like today? The usual. Alright. Brewster. Brewster, Brewster, Brewster. You incredible pigeon, you. They better not... I've said this before in previous episodes. Um, of our other Let's Plays prior to this. But they better not retire Brewster and bring in, like, his nephew or his niece or his son or daughter. It better be Brewster. That's all I'm saying. Like, Tortimer, you can retire him. Yeah, sure. He was an old man. It made sense. You can retire Tortimer. But Brewster, look at Brewster. Look at that fantastic mustache he's got going. That is not the mustache of an old bird, okay? That is the mustache of a vibrant, youthful pigeon, okay? This is what he lives for. This is what he will die for, brewing coffee. Maybe this is even his retirement job, who knows? Uh, but he, they better not replace him, that's all I'm saying, at the roost in New Horizons. This is a special brew I made just for you. Enjoy. Thanks. Wow, thanks. Thanks, Brewster. You the real MVP. Ba -da 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 -da. Delish. This gentle sweetness and warmth is reminiscent of being wrapped in a blanket straight from the dryer. Ooh, that does sound nice. <laughs> cool. cool. Thank you. No. Thank you, Brewster. Thank you. Anyway. So I can't imagine, I imagine it's going to be more like this in New Horizons, the roost in here, uh, where the stage isn't here. Because like I said, um, we do have K.K. Slider in this game already. K.K. Slider performs down here at the plaza. Uh, and I imagine, and he does in New Horizons as well. So I imagine he's just going to stay there and there won't be a concert or a stage area. Um at the roost, but we'll see. Who knows? Maybe KK, maybe they'll introduce a new musical act in New Horizons. Who knows? Probably not. I don't think they're. I don't think Nintendo has that many tricks up their sleeve. Uh, let me run inside here, make sure there are no cockroaches. I don't remember if I checked this already. Okay, thank God, because I definitely don't want to chase cockroaches using a mouse and keyboard. Okay, so that's where we'll leave off with this frustrating episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Nintendo 3DS using mouse and keyboard. Hopefully by next week I can get this controller situation figured out, um, and we can ba be back to that regular, significantly more fun to play, uh, 
control configuration. But anyway, until next time, if you love Animal Crossing and Nintendo games as a whole, uh, as much as I do, make sure to subscribe to the channel here and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single month and when I upload and premiere new video content such as this, new episodes of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf here on the Nintendo 3DS. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.